until you hear his gun. Which, uh, most of the guns being unique for the most part, with a few exceptions, you can usually get an idea who's playing what just from the gun sounds. And Man, Dan is on a mission right now. Yeah. This is Solid Snake on a different level. This is such a common Ash entry spot, too. Just there take you go. from here, you can contain, you can move forward, you can drone for yourself. There's rarely going to be anyone... Oh my there. god! Totally anticipated. Just... Right Oh Shadow's my! He's gonna be watching the kill cam. You know, I know there's no kill cam, but he's gonna be watching this death. Just be like, what just happened? There's no video. If everyone agrees, a roamer underneath offsite should have vertical support, utility, or manpower. But BDS don't. Most of the time, Shaiko and team make it work because they have better gunners. But versus Team Empire, who are the best in the world and will take and win any one v one, BDS lose. In particular, I want to spotlight the position BDS put a player in office. In this first clip, make a note of the vertical angles above. There are none. And later in the round, the barricade into Aqua isn't even removed, meaning a defender could be an Aqua. Most competitive players are also familiar with the drone hole angle a player in Cocktail can play to get an angle into office. And that would have been enough to get a refrag. There is another issue which speaks to why Coastline is a fragger's map. Whoever plays below is supposed to stay alive and deny vertically with C4 or the shotgun holes on default plant. As a roamer, you should always be thinking about the rotations you have as well as your options to rotate and waste more time. The problem with office is it's particularly restrictive because the rotates out of office are blue and security. But attackers know this, so holding lobby door and blue bar window are enough to force the player in office to take a gunfight. And without support, this is what happens. Goyo shield here to try and help slow things down for Empire, and I think it's worth doing again with the Maestro unbanned. It's a good combo that they could be taking advantage of. Um, maybe this will turn into the same uh, game with oh, where they There we go. Yeah, there, there's one for Dan, Shaiko and Karjeka will find another. Okay. Uh, All right, there's the start. entries, I guess. Yeah. And there it is. Victory for Team Empire, a 7-3 on Coastline.